Round one scheduled for 12. Let's see if the two heaviest punchers in the division come out throwing bombs again, or will we see more boxing tactics? Well, he just shot three bombs by Tyson, and the thing ain't even started. They all miss, but he's thrown from the opening belt. He's looking for a way in, and Ruddick is circling. First rematch ever for both Tyson and Ruddick, and a miss with a left try by Ruddick. Two men trying too hard to land that one big bomb. Mike not moving his head, not coming into head movement like he has in the past. Standing straight up in front of Donovan. Razor Ruddick almost disdaining his hook. A solid right hand by Mike Tyson to the head of Ruddick. There's a left uppercut to the midsection by Razor. Razor's got to put some hard, stinging punches in there, or else he's going to get eaten up by Tyson. Looks like he's on fire. Well, we'll soon find out if Tyson's skills are eroding. Mills Lane, 54-year-old district judge from Reno, the third man of the ring. A lunging left hand by Tyson that tagged Razor running. But didn't do any damage. Razor giving ground, not... Not fighting like he did in that first round. In that first fight, a little tentative is Ruddick. Very determined is Tyson. Overhand right by Tyson, but it was well covered. Cuts it missed by Ruddick. Ruddick is not tying up Tyson. Hard, hard punch to the body by Ruddick. He has one of the best lefts in the business. Good counter punch by Tyson. And a crisp left hand by Mike Tyson that got Ruddick's attention. Both men throwing very hard punches. Very damaging, very damaging. So far, it's almost a replay of the first fight. When Ruddick drops that hand to uppercut to the body, he's wide open. Mike is crossing on top of him. The absence of the jab from Ruddick. Big right by Tyson. He's got him in trouble. That wobbled Ruddick a bit. Jackpot that time. And they continue after the bell. The words of Richie Giacchetti and Mike Tyson's corner round two. A heavy right by Tyson stopping Reddick. Tyson's got the range. And this is the beginning of round two. Bad news. Ruddick punching very heavy to the body. But the superb conditioning of Mike Tyson seems to absorb those punches with no effect. Tyson just loading up with the right. Now... The left hook, but it didn't make contact. A miss by Ruddick. Ruddick is not snapping his jab. He's letting it just stay there. He's going to get killed if he does that. And where is that right hand by Razor Ruddick? He waits too long. He is slow. Maybe that weight has made him slower, but he's not throwing it like he should. Work on it. Come on. Uppercut by Mike Tyson. That snapped Ruddick's head back. Ruddick should be smothering him. He's letting him punch on the inside. Get the punches up, says Mills Lane. Oh, down goes Ruddick. Up an overhand right. Six, seven, eight. There we
to be incapable of any offensive action. He's got to put some hurt on here. Tyson's got to eat him up. He's got to get something going to make Mike think about it. Back he goes on his heels. He's in trouble again. Tyson showing no respect whatsoever for Ruddock. A low blow. That's two warnings. We've had one knockdown here in the second with Ruddock tasting the canvas. Tyson seems to be letting him get away because he had him. And he's got him still, but time is running out in this round. Final seconds of round two. Ruddock slowing down, but so is Tyson. He's lane, and he does not pull around. He will take a point away. Round three, it's scheduled for 12. Interestingly enough, no one said anything about popping a jab and stopping this guy out here. It's as if a jab didn't exist. Oh, what a right hand. Ruddock came back with a left though. Ruddock came back with a hammering punch. Another good punch by Ruddock. Ruddick's punch caught Tyson's attention, no question about that. And a hammering right hand for the punctuation. There's another one. That uppercut by Ruddick was a glancing blow. But that's the way to neutralize Tyson. He can't stop fighting now. He's got to attack. Ruddick must attack. There's another. And then the left, the smash, followed by the right uppercut by Ruddick. And he has stopped. He has stopped the attack of Tyson that was going along so smoothly. That's what he's got to do. He's got to fight. There he goes again. Ruddick. That snapped Tyson's head back. Ruddick was knocked down in the second round about midway. Tyson couldn't finish him off. And now Ruddick looking to take advantage. And Tyson standing there to take those punches. He's got a concrete jaw, no doubt about it. But he can't take those all night long. This is a big man. And Razor, Ruddick can punch, so it's up to Ruddick to keep this up. Ruddick missing with the big left. Punch out, come on, punch out. The question is, will we see more of Ruddick's right hand in this rematch? You have, to, you have to wonder, why does he look so sluggish? Is it those pounds? It certainly isn't affecting his punching power. But boy, why doesn't he jump on top of Tyson now that he's taking this round and hitting him solid punches? Why isn't he punching? Good hammering hook catches Tyson coming in. Rage is having a good round. It is round three. And Ruddick able to bounce back after being put to the canvas in the last round. Two hands are free. Come on, punch out. Now, Sorry, Tyson, has, hit. Tyson has stopped it. You don't know why. I do. He's been getting hit. Well, he came off the canvas against Bone Crusher Smith. He bounced back against Mike Weaver. And now he's trying to do it against Mike Tyson. Razor Ruddick. That right by Tyson didn't have full impact. All right, all right, all right. We'll step back clean. Here we go. We'll step back clean. Here we go. on Tyson of late. He's been fighting in bursts. No fluidity. No rhythm. And he's not moving his head. He is not coming in, bobbing and weaving and crouching. Both missing. Is Tyson walking a tightrope tonight? Even though he isn't the champ, he's still the most bankable fighter in the world. This is risky business for him. This is very risky business after that last round because it's showing he can be hurt. And he has a disdain for the punches of Razor Ruddick. Big mistake. Oh, hard shot. There goes Ruddick again. He's down for the second time. Razor Ruddick. 
Anderson looking to pour it on her. Plenty of time for Tyson to mount an attack. Uh-oh, time. And that time is in the benefit of Razor Ruddick, who was on the verge of going bye-bye. Now get him a mouthpiece. They clean it off. And now Mills Lane says, time in. Ruddick spitting blood in the process. Right, get off that neck. One step back. Don't get on the break. Well, that was a welcome relief. It got him time to get himself together, at least punch some. He can't leave that light, that left hand out there. He's got to fight some, and Ruddick is on, not fighting. Pretty good left by Razor Ruddick. That's what he's got to do more of. And you're wondering what Mike Tyson is waiting for. Both men resting now. I don't know why they're resting so early in the fight. It's only the fourth round. Oh, tremendous uppercut by Donovan. Hard punches by Tyson. Punishing, castigating punishment by Mike Tyson. Punch out, two hands are free. Two hands are free. Now both resting again. And back comes Tyson with a vicious uppercut. And you wonder what Ruddick is waiting for. They're just looking at each other in that clinch. That's kind of silly. Why isn't that jab out there? Why isn't he stopping him with a jab? He's not even throwing it. Punch out. Come on, punch out. Punch Again, they've thrown boxing tactics out the window. But Ruddick is like sleepwalking. He is not paying attention to this. He's got to throw something. Keep this guy off. Tyson, for his part, has not finished. They continue. He didn't come back and put it away, unlike Mike Tyson. And round five. A lot of these so-called experts predicting this to be the round that Tyson ends it. Well, he had a good opportunity in the second. He had a good in the fourth. He took a shellacking in the fourth. Ruddick has been down twice. Ruddick throws one or two punches at a time. He should throw three and four twice. There you go. Good left hand by Ruddick. That back Tyson up. Well, that got Tyson's respect. And he's got to do that all round long. He can't stop his angry. Now, trigger off. Trigger, trigger. Now, he's not doing it. See, he, he triggered off, he could have fired off, and it was Tyson. Oh, yeah, to hand the and Tyson is not especially fast tonight. They're both looking at each other an awful lot. Tyson known for his hand speed and, of course, his bulldozing power. Well, we've seen the power. Uh, he is not coming in down low, snorting fire, throwing those hooks to the body. He's not moving his head. And a fight like this, you got to wonder what would Holyfield do with a guy like this? We haven't seen too many chance of combinations. Here's a double left by a Razor Ruddick. Down and over. Down to the body, over to the head. And he's got to do that more. Why he doesn't, I don't know. And a solid left hook by Tyson, then a right. Tyson is tough. No question about it. He has got concrete in his chin. He's taking some hard shots here from Curry, big man. Razor Ruddick has already absorbed a lot of punishment. And we're not even through round five. All right, punch out. Come on. Tyson's body attack is kind of a thing of beauty. He goes down, he goes over. And he's been throwing two punches and tying him up. Punch One, up. two on, punches. Come on, mate. Come on, come on. He has not thrown flurries of three or four like the Tyson of old. There's one, and he's tied up again. Count how many times he throws one punch and ties up. Ruddick with the best of counter by Tyson. Ruddick says he went on a special diet to lose. He's up to 238. His diet didn't work. Combination there by Tyson. 
Well, he loses about a pound per round, so he feels he needs the extra cushion and strength to push Tyson off of him. And that is it for round five. And that has been slowing down Tyson a great deal. He just doesn't fight enough. He's blowing, blowing every round. Heard of these corner sessions are almost like an instant replay of the first fight. Richie Giacchetti telling him to stick to his game plan. More rhythm. Jab more. A jab seems to be a forgotten weapon today. The sixth round. It seems as if Razor Ruddick is following a game plan. Oh, what a nice punch to the uh, stomach, uppercut to the stomach by Ruddick. Hoping maybe his strategy is that weight, everything else, will wear down Tyson after round six or seven, and he can come on if that's a dangerous strategy. He's been down twice. Down to the second and to the fourth. And to the fourth, he came up smiling. Remember, he did that in the first fight. Right. And it was in this round that he took command. Sixth round of the first fight, he was belaboring Tyson. If you recall, yes, it was the final 30 seconds when Ruddick really got it going. It was the only round he won. I don't feel he's opened up. He had that one round in the third where he won, but he wasn't really wide open. And then, of course, it was stopped controversially in the seventh by Richard Steele. Oh, nice hook. Two nice hooks. Nice uppercut. Countering left, though, by Tyson to the right. Oh, he's getting hammered. Is Tyson. Tyson's had three or four straight good shots to the face. Although he's responded well. Good hard punch by Tyson. Tyson opening up. He's got Ruddick in the corner, but Ruddick able to pull his way out. Now Tyson showing the fire that made him famous. This is Tyson, the combatant. He, he's smelling knockout. Looking to put Ruddick away here on the sixth. But Ruddick keeps coming back with these sneaky uppercuts and body shots. It ain't all easy. It is not a piece of cake. Tyson going to the body. Tyson trying to chop down this big oak in front of him. But Ruddick always dangerous because he can punch and he's coming up with these little uppercuts and hooks. Solid left by Tyson. All right, let him go, Razor. You tied in. Here we go. Come on. Very, very good work by Mills Lane, who knows how to handle heavyweights. Come on, punch on here. Once again, Tyson looking to oh, hit with nice, one punch. Nice hook. Drove the mouthpiece out of Tyson. And now, is he going to pick it up and give Tyson a chance? No. Time runs out. Come to round seven, surprisingly enough. And this is the round in which it ended in the first fight. Many people thought prematurely. Tyson stalking, now letting up a bit. Why does Ruddick make it so difficult? Why has it always got to be uppercuts and hooks? Why can't he just stick that straight, big jab? He's got such big, long reach on him, and then drop the right hand. And a wealth beginning to develop under the left eye of Ruddick. Whoa, was that a narrow escape by Tyson? Landing a great body shot, he just missed the wonderful hook. By Ruddick that had murder hey, written on hey, it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hey, look, look, look. Get down there, come on. Mills Payne really taking command. It's cool this evening. The wind starting to blow. Heat not a fight. It's a perfect night for fighting. And Ruddick is doing all he can to keep off a determined Tyson. Get off that neck, Ruddick. Come on. Right back. Get off that neck. Come on. Ruddick breathing out of his mouth, looking a little weary, and that weariness is because of the non-stop attack and also the extra weight that he's carrying, that extra 10 or 12 pounds, doesn't help. It looks like both fighters sucking air, looking for that second win. Now, here's Ruddick with the left, another left, missed with the right. 
throwing wild punches instead of going to the body when he stunned. A left hook by Tyson that connected. Now a right that lands by Tyson. Donovan had his chance and, and he still, oh, if he continues to punch, he certainly has caught Tyson's attention. Why is Tyson, why is Ruddick not fighting? Why is he content to just stay there? Ruddick just fighting in spurts. Tyson with a solid right. And Ruddick leading with his chin. And they continue to hold now. Well, if he was waiting for Tyson to wear out, round seven is about the time to start his offensive. Oh, what a hook by Ruddick. And back comes Tyson. What a gutty performance by Tyson. Rocked by two tremendous punches. He comes back. And Ruddick, another good two shots. Another good two hooks. Tyson is starting to wear out. But Tyson showing he's got an unbelievable chin. And it's got to be making Don King nervous. He is the promoter for Mike Tyson as the rematch rages on into round eight. So it goes longer than the first fight. It's the first rematch for either man. That's got to be an unusual feeling. Well, right now, I don't think they're thinking of feelings. Right now, Ruddick in the back of his mind says, I can do this. If he's not encouraged by that last round, he's crazy. That last round proved that Mike can be hit. Get off that neck. Come on. Just the seventh round. A productive one for Razor Ruddick. In the first fight, it was the sixth, but it was only the sixth. Ruddick with a right. Something we haven't seen much of. Ruddick trying to land with uppercuts. Those uppercuts leave him so naked, so vulnerable. But they're so powerful, Mike has to cover up. But Tyson proving he is a super counter puncher. And Ruddick's got to be careful when he unloads those uppercuts. Well, he's a warrior from the old school. This guy looks, Tyson looks like a fighter from the 30s and the 40s. He takes his beating and then he keeps coming in. Still going without the socks, too. That lends to that environment, that feeling, too. Mills Lane, very busy man. 49 championship fights. Ironically, only one man in Nevada has won four, four championship fights. Richard Steele, 87. Both men taking off a little time this round. The heat, the action, not as hot. Only Tyson's doing the fighting right now. Ruddick's got to pick up. He's certainly not going to get a decision here, so he better get started. I think some people surprised it's gone this far. There's a jab. However weak, he should be popping that jab out there. If you're going to throw it, throw it with some measure and some meanness to it. Tyson is not bobbing his head, so he's easy to hit with a jab, but he's not throwing it. He really is a target for Ruddick, but Ruddick not taking advantage. This is the most uneventful round thus far. It's the eighth round, final second. Ruddick landing with the right, but again, here comes Tyson. Best punches of the of this round. To Ruddick, it's been an uneventful round. A little bit more action, he could win the round. The rest of the fight very spirited. Again, action after the bell. Both these guys. And round nine, scheduled for twelve. Ruddick's been knocked down twice in the second and in the fourth. Well, it doesn't rain, but it pours. Now that he's got a two 10-8 rounds, they added another one. The only good thing is he might have won that round, so it doesn't really hurt him that bad. 
Listen, if he's as far behind as he is right now, what he's got to look at here is he's going to win a decision. He's got to knock this guy out. And Tyson unable to put Ruddick away, and he's got to be frustrated. He's certainly, he's certainly going to make Holyfield overconfident. Watching this, Holyfield's promoters have taken out half-page ads in two Las Vegas newspapers. The ad reads, hey, Mike, let's get it on. John King says that's a reflection of Holyfield's profitability in relation to Tyson. Smoke, all smoke. What's happening in the ring is what counts. And right now, Ruddick has chosen not to fight again. And Tyson has chosen not to fight again. He's Neither one are burning up the uh, canvas right now. But there were moments back in the second and fourth when you thought that Tyson would have it in the bag. But he couldn't finish Ruddick off. And the third round was an action round for Ruddick. He was doing great. You wondered how Mike could take that hammering. Now in the later rounds, can he take that hammering if it happens to him again? Oh, nice uppercut. Two nice uppercuts by Razor running. Oh, low blow, low blow, low blow by Tyson and Mills Lane. And that cost him one point. Takes the point away from Tyson. It's amazing Tyson didn't take a punch at the lonesome dove, Mills Lane. He looked at him like saying, what, you're going to take a point from me? Well, he had been warned twice. That's the third one. If he did, he'd be taking a punch at a possible future governor of Nevada or Santa. Maybe he can, oh, nice. Good left by Ruddick. Wonderful left by Ruddick. Again, the low blow. Again, another low blow. By Tyson. Two low blows by Tyson. That left hand by Ruddick has been called the smash by Art Miles' his trainer. It's a blindsiding punch, very difficult to see. I don't know about difficult to see, but it must be difficult to take because that was hard. Difficult to see, but you feel it. Oh, what a left hand by Razor Ruddick. It got through, Purdy. He faked the right hand and went right up the middle. He just didn't have power with it. But it certainly penetrated. It was right on the button. But a fight that was an easy victory as far as points is starting to get close because of this crazy mathematics we got going here. Well, we certainly saw an unusual decision in the Fennec Nelson fight, so anything goes. Tenth round. Get off that neck, Razor. Get, get off, off the neck. neck, Razor. Says Mills Lane. I think. Tyson's got to get in gear again. This thing's getting close, and there's no need to. Tyson snapping the jab. We haven't seen much of that. Or any of it. Punch out! Get off that neck, Razor! Come on! Left hooks by Razor Ruddick. We're in the 10th oh, round. Oh, if he's waiting for on. Tyson to get tired of attack, now's the time. 10, 11, and 12. Nice kind of punch by Tyson. Another right hand. Hard. Tyson digging to the ribs. Overhand right by Tyson. Ruddick in trouble. Ruddick's face, a mask of pain. Those shots to the ribs caved him in. Ruddick in anguish. If Ruddick doesn't punch now, he's in terrible trouble of finishing this fight now. He better punch some now. Shots to the rib by Mike Tyson. Now, he snapped his head back with that left. That's a point off. That's a point off. That's a point off. Bill Slane is taking a point off. But who? Who did he take it off? He never said. Well, that's a mystery. right hand by Tyson. The mathematics continues to bewilder. Who was the point off and what for? Point out you guys. One step back. Come on. Here we go. Ruddick 
giving it all he's got. Boy, this is a shootout. A left by Rana. Tyson not too sure right now. What a shootout if, he, if Reddick can get some more going. He's turning this round around. What a comeback by Razor Ruddick. I've never seen Tyson get hit this much in any fight. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Except maybe for Buster Douglas back in Tokyo. When he really got... A good shot missing, though. Missing didn't look that good on replay, but it certainly looked impressive up here. New territory for Razor Ruddick, round 11. He comes off an impressive round. Well, Mike Tyson should be ahead in points, but you would need a Japanese computer to figure out this point, this, these points being taken away and who was winning what round. Only the third time in Ruddick's career, Ferdy, that he's into round 11. Well, he's, he, he is certainly one of the things that he wanted to do was look good so that he could come back and fight Holyfield or George Foreman. He has done that. Whether he finishes or not, he has done that as Razor Ruddick. Well, there's no question the winner of this fight will emerge as the number one contender to fight for Holy Wheel, Holyfield's title. And Tyson has got to go back. Oh, he got hit again. Did Tyson coming in? Another right hand. Tyson fighting back. Get off that neck. Get off that neck in there. Oh, if Reddick just wasn't so weary, he could put together punches. Right, on, he Here seems to stop Tyson in his tracks, but Tyson's got a gigantic heart. More low blows by Tyson. Blood from the lower lip of Razor Ruddick. In all fairness to Tyson, he can't help those low blows. He's little. And Ruddick is very tall. Another low blow. Come on. Come on. A caution from Mills Lane. That's a low blow. Very low by Ruddick. Extremely low. Now, that was a payback. And that was a straight payback. It is a festival of power. You knock that shit off. Is that the way a judge talks? Mills talking tough to these two guys. Come on, punch out, come on. Well, you take off points doesn't help you as far as your physical condition. You got to come back and hit the other guy low. And Ruddy just did that, and he did it very well. Well, leading up to the fight, Tyson said, "You hit me low, I'll hit you low." He hit him all the way in the hip joint there. Come on. Mills loath to take any way any more points. I mean, for fear of affecting a heavyweight championship. I mean, I'm sorry, a heavyweight fight. Why would back? Come on, Ray. It feels like, like a heavyweight come champion. It does. This has all the quality of a heavyweight, and the risk here is enormous. Right hand by Tyson. The risk to, to Tyson, his reputation, his earning power, the fight with Holyfield all on the line here. This is not an easy night for Punch Mike out. Tyson. Ruddick's face is ballooning. That Punch welcome out. to the left eye is really getting right, big. Neck, what a most. Ruddick's face is going to look like a mess after this. Here we go. Round 12, the rematch even better than the first fight. Much better. Much better because Ruddick has been able to take these punches, giving you some kind of, some kind of doubt. Could that first one have continued on had not Steele stopped it? Could it have been more of this? Because, oh, nice shot by Ruddick. Ruddick really proving a point. Tyson can't take any chances. He's got to go for the knockout. Well, I, he's ahead on officially on my card, which as we know means nothing here in Las Vegas, but I think he's ahead. All, this, all of this mathematics of taking away points. Goodness knows who's ahead. But he has acquitted himself. I think Tyson has won, but I think Ruddick has acquitted himself, and we have this entire round to go, so don't go away. This is heavyweight action at its best. Ruddick has earned the respect of many. Doubling up with the left by Tyson, sending Ruddick back.
Ruddock trying to hold on to Tyson. Let the minutes go by. Let those seconds go by. Because Tyson looks intent on not letting this go to the judges. He doesn't want any trips here. What he wants is a knockout. Just past the midway point of the final round. Oh, nice little uppercut by Ruddick, but in the meantime, he's getting pummeled by a refreshed Tyson. Tyson is a fighting machine. Oh, Tyson just got hammered, and he comes back fighting. What an exchange! The water flew from his head. He got such an uppercut by Ruddick. Tyson has to have a cast iron jaw. Less than a minute. Ruddick's been down twice, back in the second and fourth, but he has come back brilliantly. Wrong about this time, Tyson must be thinking, did I really need this fight? <laughs> Was this really necessary, boss? And in case you're wondering if this is judged a draw, it's a 40 to 1 shot. And step back, get him up, Razor, come on! i like to know somebody that bet this was going to go the distance. Not many. Certainly not me. A good hammering right hand by Tyson. And there is not enough time, but what a right hand by Tyson. Oh, oh, what a low blow. And then run again with a low blow. It's the bell sound. They both hit each other low blows. The winner, Mighty Mike. Thank you.